Carney on for last July for the opportunity to sit down with Warren Buffett. That lunch takes place today at New York's famed Smith & Walensky Steakhouse. We take you there now live where Mr. Buffett is, I'm told, looking over the menu. How you been? Thanks for joining us there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's for lunch? Uh, well, I'll tell you, since, since uh, Smith & Walensky is buying, I, th I think I'll order one of everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> incidentally, the, the buyer of the lunch... Uh, you mentioned correctly, I think bid 202 or 205,000, but because there was a little mix up at the end and one fellow didn't get the bid, he voluntarily, the fellow that, that bought me, uh, uh, increased it to 250,000. And on top of that, Smith and Walensky has, has contributed 10,000 to Glide. So Glide is going to come out of this with 260,000. And I'm going to come out with a free lunch. Not a, not a bad deal. <laughs> Tell me about the Glide uh, Foundation. You've been quoted as saying some incredibly wonderful things about it. Tell us about it. It's a remarkable place, uh, Bill. Uh, Glide, a young black minister 40 years ago, went out to San Francisco to a dying church and had about 100 elderly white uh, parishioners, and they all quit when he came. And he took this shell of a church and built it into an incredible social organization that, uh, that now it served over 800,000 meals last year. It has more than 20,000 volunteers. It takes the people who are hopeless and gives them hope. And I've, I've seen it in action, and, and uh, I really have never seen a better social service organization. Did I read correctly that it, the staff members now themselves are former homeless people or, or recovered yeah, addicts? Well, yeah, no, a lot of them. And, and you'll find people. Uh, Oprah's been there. Uh, uh, the president and Senator Clinton have been there. Bill Cosby, Robin Williams, Sharon Stone. All of these people pitch in because they've seen the job that Cecil Williams does. I mean, he, he's the real deal. Well, they can't have a better sponsor than you as well. By the way, well, thank you. if I'm spending $250,000 for lunch and I ask questions, do I get some straight answers? I mean, you're going to divulge some information to these folks today? Well, I, I do I do my best, Bill. Uh, I, I, you, you might check with the person that bought it last year, but I, I think, I think uh, I'm trying to give them their money's worth. Well, I'm going to ask some questions for free if I may. Oh, okay, well, we'll, 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 we'll give you the children's portion. <laughs> Um, I know I'm not about to get you to tell us what you're buying or anything right now, but uh, your thoughts on the stock market right now in, in light of the, what's going on with the economy and corporate profitability and the Fed raising rates. I mean, just big picture. What's Warren Buffett think of the U.S. stock market right now? Yeah, I, I you know, I never try to predict the, the market. I, I've made money over the years by buying into good companies run by good people at attractive prices. And, and I don't try and make it out of buying into the market at one point and selling it at another point. So... Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time finding things to buy, if that says anything about the market. But I, I really, if I find something tomorrow to buy, I don't give a thought as to whether the market's going to go up or down. I, I just barrel in. Are you still bearish, as it were, on the dollar? Do you think it goes much lower from here? Well, I think over time that, that unless we have a major change in trade policies, I don't see how the dollar avoids going down. And it, uh, I don't know when it happens. I don't have any idea whether it'll be this month or this year or next year. But but we are force feeding dollars onto the rest of the world at the rate of a couple, close to a couple billion dollars a day, and uh, that that's going to weigh on the dollar. I see, I see no way around that. Do you